We're also going to be using some brushes today. Um, this is a 5 8 inch flat brush. We also have about a 3 8 inch flat brush as well. Um, it's actually labeled the number 10, but all, you're, all you really want is a nice um, flat, smooth, um, preferably synthetic bristle. They, they tend to work better for your gelatin, and we're going to be using these for painting our gelatin onto our gelatin veining sheets. In addition, I have a small round detailing brush, and we are going to be using this to paint some details onto our, um, onto our wings, but mostly we're going to be using this for construction. In addition, I also have a Corian board, and this is just for me to sculpt our, our insect bodies on. It's absolutely not necessary to have. If you just want to use your countertop, that's perfectly fine. Um, I also have in front of me a kind of range of different luster dusts. Now, notice I said luster dust, not petal dust. Dragonflies are one of the um, few things in nature that are naturally iridescent and sparkly. So we're going to go ahead and, and embrace that and really have some fun with that. I have an antique silk. This is what I'm going to be adding to our gelatin to kind of add a little bit of sparkle and depth to our wings. I also have a lime green, uh, an avocado, a holly, an olive, and then this beautiful midnight peacock blue. But you don't need to feel like you have to limit yourself to this color palette. Uh, if, you, if you look up pictures of dragonflies and damselflies online, you'll find that they come in a wide variety of colors, anywhere from reds and oranges and pinks down to blues and purples and greens. Um, just for today, these were the colors I had on hand, and this is what I've decided to go with. In addition, if you'll notice back behind me on the stove, I do have a small saucepan. It has about a half an inch of water in the bottom that I've brought to a, um, a very, very low simmer. It's not actually simmering anymore. It's just nice and nice and hot. And the reason I have that is after a while, when my gelatin's been sitting out, it's going to start firming up. And you notice it gets like this and it's no longer easy to brush on. So what I will do is I will just put this right into the water bath um, on the stove and that will um, melt our gelatin back down without having to reheat it in, in the microwave or anything like that. It's just a much, um, I think it's a much easier way to just keep your gelatin at a nice consistent uh, heat when you're, when you're making several, several different insects. So let's get started.